Hello, hello everyone, and Luga here. My food container is pretty much empty, so that means we're gonna make some more food today. So here it is, in my freezer where I store all the food. Now, this is the staple food. Notice all these packets of food are the packets that I sell on my website. This is the exact same food that I sell on the website that I will be making today. So the thing here is I've showed everyone how to make this food several times over the years. And over the years I have adjusted the formula, the ingredients and stuff like that. To make it what it is now, this is how I breed thousands and thousands, if not millions and millions of shrimp. So, these are the ingredients and let's get started. Okay, so we got all the ingredients out and these are bulk premium flakes I buy from Ken's Fish. While it is true, shrimp will eat just about anything. They are scavengers, they'll eat anything. They really will. But if you're trying to breed as many shrimp as possible, you want to have high quality, high protein foods. And all of these foods are at least 40%. Some of them are even 50%, I believe, percent protein. So with the protein, that allows the females to make more eggs when they're buried. They want to be buried. They want to get pregnant. They want to, they want to mate and make more shrimpies more protein they have and the better food they have the more shrimp and more often you will see babies i've been feeding this way for years now and i have found and we'll talk about that later about grinding it up and essentially what we're doing is we are going to take all these foods grind them all up into powder and blend them all together to maximize our shrimp nutrition requirements so we've got all this food this is 10 half pound bags of food so we're gonna be making five pounds of food today the first step what i do here is i take each bag and get it started grinding it up by hand this makes it easier to fit it into our food processor that I use. And we're just gonna go through and do that with every single one of them. Okay, so this is the food processor I got. This is old, old, old. I don't, we don't use it for cooking food or anything anymore. It is just just for making food. So we got it all ground down the best we could in the bag. And we add it in like so. And then we process. And this is what we end up with. Anyway, dump it all in here. And we just did 10%. Now we gotta do that nine more times. So some of you guys may be wondering, why do you even try to sell it if you're showing us how to make it? Well, the thing is to get this many variety of foods and that's what you want. You want a good variety of high quality foods. So this, this many foods, this batch of food, it's gonna cost over $130, give or take. Prices fluctuate a little bit to make this batch of food. So I had some people asking, you should offer your food for sale. I bet there'd be a lot of people interested in it because they said they were. So I started looking into how much packaging would cost. 
and how much the actual food costs and then you got to factor in shipping and envelopes and all that stuff and then I went to looking to see how much food costs it's on the market and I was looking at cheap 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 like Aquion name brand food and I thought if I can sell this food for about the same price as some cheap bottom of the line bottom of the barrel Aquion generic shrimp food then I will be offering a product that is far far superior for the same price and the price point worked out for me is worth it pays for all the materials and time I put into it and so that's how I ended up selling this shrimp even though I show everyone how to make it <laughs> so if you have a big fish room and you're feeding hunt feeding dozens and dozens of tanks for whatever reason go ahead by all means use my videos to save some money on food but most people don't have <laughs> dozens and dozens of tanks. most people just have a tank or two and so you can get the same quality same exact same food that i feed all my tanks and made by myself <laughs> for a couple ounces at a time for a good cheap price like i said same price as the bottom of the barrel aquion food per ounce so then after ever so often you come in and mix it up So then it's easier to blend and you're not trying to blend a full thing all at once. <laughs> Check out the color on this brine shrimp flake. <clears throat> when you dump it in compared to the rest, it's almost like a sand art type of thing that you do as little kids. Look at that, that's crazy. So now we're gonna mix that in there real good. And make all that wild color disappear and make sure it's all blended in, all nice and uniform. And then you end up with something looking like that. Now we gotta finish mixing this last batch in. All right, and your finished product ends up looking like something like that. And then to help get her all mixed up, even better, do this and make sure you hold the lid on because <laughs> if 10 pounds of powdered food fell all over my kitchen that would suck super hard super hard all right i mix it up by hand all right there we go now we're ready for feeding all right so here we are Finally getting to feed some shrimp. Now, this is my new Blue Dreams tank. And we've got lots of little babies in here. We've got teeny, teeny, tiny ones. And I see a lot of people saying, I have buried shrimp and then they're not buried, but I never see any babies. <clears throat> well, there are a couple things that play a role into that. Well, several things actually, but I think the most important thing is making sure these baby shrimp have enough to eat and this is a pinch of food that I feed my 20 gallon longs look how it just scatters across and then every single surface in the tank is going to get rained down with all the little particles of food and so that's going to mean all the little babies and the mamas are gonna get plenty of food to eat. Plenty of food to eat so that the babies can grow up. The mamas will make lots of eggs. Like we said, this is high protein food. It'll make them ready to breed, make them have more eggs and make more babies. And then scattering it around like this, crushing it up in the powder will cover every surface in the tank so that they can get food. And then, not just the shrimp are eating, but when you cover all these surfaces, all these little nooks and crannies with food, what doesn't get ate, well, of course, you can't overdo it too much or you'll run your water and your tank will go bad. 
But as long as you're cycling and keep up and you do the maintenance routine to allow it, covering all these surfaces with this little, with little pieces of powdered food, look how little that shrimp is, will allow biofilm along with a good light that'll be the fuel that will allow biofilm to form. So that when you see all these specialty shrimp foods that cost like $15, $20 an ounce, that is their gimmick. They, uh, they say it promotes biofilm growth. Well, I am taking these foods, blending them all together, crushing them into little bits, little tiny, crushing it into powder, and you're getting the same effect as these specialty shrimp foods that charge 20 bucks an ounce, which is insane. Look at all the little babies. So this new tank is doing good. So there you have it. Feeding shrimp, how I feed my shrimp. And remember, my food, this is exactly what I offer on my website. I make it the exact same way. The exact same containers I have, videos showing me making this food for all the special, all the exact details of it going way back. So go back and look for some of my old food videos. Look how many eggs this girl has on her. She may be getting ready to drop them. Or hatch babies, I should say. But we've, this tank is looking so good. The food is doing good. Oh, and one more thing. While shrimp is the main thing I do, so everything I do in this food is marketed towards shrimp. Fish also like it. I even got an email this week. Someone who, there, I think it was Peacock Gudgeons. They said they get them to spawn, but they never get the fry to live because they can never get the food right. Well, they're putting my shrimp food in the tank and now their fry are growing and thriving and doing awesome. So not only is this a shrimp food, it is also a very good fry food. And look, even the adult guppies like it. Look at this. I mean, I throw a ton of food in this thing. Not only is there, you know, there's four or 500 guppies or more in here, there are also maybe close to 50 bristlenose plecos, so I can, and the filter in here is a thousand gallon per hour pump. I have this and the five gallon bucket full of lava rock, full of biomedia. And look how fast these guys make this disappear. It's like a bunch of little piranhas. <laughs> so it works for guppies. Apparently it's good for raising peacock gudgeon fry. And so <laughs> there's how I feed my shrimp and my food. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.